Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Spiral Knights. I'm going to be playing the Sapphire Rook Gate. As you can see, somebody else has joined. However, they're being stupid and not moving, so I may just kick them. Okay, so now you get to see what gameplay is like cooperatively. Now I've set my party to open so anybody can join at any point, up to four people. Now this could be fun while recording, but I might as well see what it's like. And this loading screen is taking forever. Now the thing is, it's not a joint loading screen. My, the person who just joined could already be running around killing things while I'm stuck loading. Come on, hurry up! You know you want to. And then it does, and then it slows down, and then it finishes. Let's go. Okay, so there you see him doing his thing. Let's journey onwards. Ooh, that's um that's a point. Materials do don't um Materials you can set to either be random or you can set them to be fair, which essentially, uh, well, it's not called fair. What it essentially does is it um, allows you to. If somebody isn't getting uh, the fair share of items, it will automatically be awarded to them. So you can't share it. Not everyone will get one when you pick it up. And there's no way of making sure it's you anyway. Which is nice in a way, but sometimes it's nice. Nah, as much as I want to be able to pick it up and own it myself, I can see there being a lot of problems from that. I'm looking at you, World of Warcraft. Not that I've played it. Honestly, never have. I've played. That's a lie, actually. I've played a trial. Hey, come on, pick up minerals. Oh, these were the crystal tab things I was talking about. See, that one's bigger. It's worth more. Now, obviously, because there's somebody else in the party who I can't control, if once it gets to 10 minutes, I will just have to end. So, this is your this is preview at what the gameplay is like. I'll try and get through it fast, but I can't speak for him even though he's the one in front. Now, weapons do have different charge attacks. For instance, this one, instead of just doing a normal slash, it does a 360 degree spin. Which is always good. It's very good when you get cornered, which is one of the main reasons why I have it equipped. Ooh, this is an explosive bot, however, it takes... Yeah, it's times down even when you slash it so it's actually very it's one of the few explosive things I would actually advise uh, slashing that's me being an idiot walking straight into the spikes and this at this point we're looking for a switch so there we go Ooh, first area done That was quite a short area. They get a lot longer. So 
Sorry about that. That's a point. Um, trinkets, I have two equipped. They don't level up. They're, f they're at full equip when you buy them. Well, they say they are. They're still level 1. They just don't have heat applied to them. Ooh, I loaded before him. But he feels bad. Ah, gold key. Now obviously this isn't a hidden one. Actually it might have been. Maybe that switch was hidden, so actually equipping it. Actually standing on it was worthwhile. Here's a gremlin. I absolutely hate gremlins. Because they heal everything and they attack everyone else. Oh, we got another person. We got Mocked Bot. Mocked Bot and Fozzle. I hope they don't mind me including their names. It's hardly any way to identify them. We're all going to lose our names April 1st, so they shouldn't mind. Ah, here's a good example. You see that bit above, it, below his name, in case you can't? It says elec Electrified. That's actually his clan name, so it's easier to tell clan members apart. Now I'm backtracking because our other friend has located the golden door and we're going to place a golden key into it. Now you'd think that people can be really assy and just pick up that key and never do anything with it. But the fact is I have the power to boot him. So it's not exactly... The choice is mine. Now I don't see why that guy's not picking up minerals. Unless... No, he didn't have one in his back so he's just wasting it. It's always worth it. Who knows, you might get something useful out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab a red one. Okay, just over a minute left. Let's see if we can finish this specific level. And... I think after this I'm going to end this let's play. So my opinions? This is actually a very nice change for an MMO. It's more based on co-op being cooperative. You are expected to play friendly. I don't know how to put it. It's not as solely about grinding as other RPGs. It's very it's a very nice change. The art style is adorable at the same time it it blends right really well. A bit like uh, Borderlands with its cell shading even though it still looks really good. But no, I'm really impressed. Considering this is a free game as well. I know it gets its revenue from being from all well, its additions, but you aren't expected to actually play to pay. You don't have to. And I think that's great. Anyway, I think I end that here. Bye bye. And I'll see you next let's play.